Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you an inventory trailer. This is going to be a 2019 Elite 4 Horse LQ with the living quarters up front. Um, so we'll get started right down here on the front. We've got our um, adjustable coupler. So this goes up and down so you're riding as level as possible on the truck. You got your safety chains and then battery breakaway. Um, that's your lights, plug it in. Under here, you've got your battery box. So two batteries, one will help run that hydraulic system and then you know your batteries for the house system. On the exterior right here, you do have your little battery cutoff switch and then your two 30 gallon propane tanks. Hydraulic jack in the middle there. And I don't know if you saw right here is going to be the control for that hydraulic jack. So it goes up and down. Um, sorry, electric jack on that one. I don't know why I said hydraulic. That's electric. Sorry. Um, and then you got your spare tire under here as well. So coming over here, you've got your entrance into the, um, oh, into the living quarters. So this one's a day tripper by Outback Conversions or Outback Customs. So nice little interior on here. So we'll come up in. I'll kind of show you how it goes. So you've got your dinette couch combo. So if you wanted to, you could take this dinette out, um, just use a couch, whatnot. Um, up in that nose area, you've got the bed, some storage space up above. You can put your clothes in there, you know, all your stuff. And I like that little shelf they've got right there too. Be able to set your phones, charge your phones at night and stuff. You got a radio inside and exterior, so you can play music, be able to listen to the radio, AM, FM. Um, that one I believe does have Bluetooth connection. Yes, it does. So you can put your phone to it and play your music off your phone as well. Over here in the corner, you got a cute little kitchenette area. So you do have your microwave and then your kitchen sink. Um, small little area, but still usable. And then on this side right here, this is a, an additional table, so you can use this for more storage, um, little uh, place to, you know, prep meals, stuff like that, put it outside, use it outside. Um, and it goes back in this closet, but I wanted to take it out to show you guys that's what they got. And then right here, you got the refrigerator. So full-size refrigerator in this one. And above that fridge, you do have a TV. TVs are always nice to have. <laughs> you never know when you're going to want to watch something. <laughs> and then coming back in here into the bathroom, cute little bathroom. We got storage, these two. So plenty of storage, be able to hang your stuff, put your um, towels and stuff in there. And then we've got our shower. So this shower, let's see here. There we go. It's currently winterized, so that's why it's sitting down there. Um, but nice, nice size shower with the skylight up above. Skylight just gives you some extra headspace because it's more light in here, so I'll keep it more open and airy. And then I'm standing in the walkthrough door, as you can see. So walkthrough door into this first stall, fantastic to have. It's just really nice to be able to, and then closes up. So you are able to, you know, use this first stall for horses or like others do, use that one for storage, use the side entrance to come in, and then you kind of use this as your mudroom, kick your boots off in here, not get as much dirt into your tack or into your living quarters. It helps out big time. Down here, we do have our toilet. And then you've got your little bathroom vanity with the medicine cabinet behind it. So nice little extra storage space, be able to put stuff up there, toothbrush, paste, all that stuff keep it out of the way. So it's a nice little LQ in here. Um, nice little space. You're not having that slide out on here. So, you know, you're not getting that extra weight on this trailer either. It's going to be really nice to haul down the road, get in and out of campsites and stuff because you're not too long either. So nice little LQ on this one. And again, that is a day tripper by Outback Conversions. And this one's a 10 foot eight short wall. So like I said earlier, the exterior exterior speakers, those are nice speakers, those are Sony's. Um, be able to listen to your music outside, interior, exterior, wherever you want to do it. 
And then over here on the hip side of the trailer, this one's neat, you've got the drop downs on head and hip side of the trailer, so both of them. So you were able to get those down, you know, get that extra airflow going through and get it and make it more comfortable for your horses. Or if you didn't want the drop down down, you do have just your bus window that you can open up and then, here we go, put these windows back up and just have that air coming through that way. So versatility there, being able to, you know, drop those down if you need to or want to, or have those bus windows open. You do have an LED light up above, so be able to tack, untack in the dark with a lot more ease than doing it in complete darker with the headlamp on. And then down below, we do got two 7,000 pound torsion axles. And then you got a 16 inch steel wheel with your simulator over top. So coming around here to the rear of this trailer, we've got our 50-50 door set. So opened up, you got your, your rear tack, ramp that comes down. So being able to have that ramp, I know some horses like it, some, some don't. Um, we can always take it off if that's the case. If your horses don't like a ramp, we can get it off of here. But it is an additional that we've got on it. Nice to have. So over here on your tack room, tack door, got your little brush box right there. I always keep my easy to use or easy to grab stuff in there. So my brushes, my fly pit, or fly spray, my hoof picks, all that stuff, I put it in there and that way I'm easy to grab it and just keep going. And then right here, you do have your blanket pull and this actually swings out. So let's see here, sorry. So this one, oh, where's that little pin? Oh, there we go. I'm smart, okay. Swings out of your way so you can get in and get to your saddle racks, get your saddles in and out easy, um, and then be able to get your blankets on and off easy and layer them. So I layer blankets if I've got more than four. So being able to open this up, get it out of the way and layer them on is easier. And then right in there, you do see your um, bridle hooks. You got plenty of bridle hooks everywhere. Be able to hang all your bridles that you got and take them with you. So coming up here into the rear of the trailer, we've got our little safety chain right here. So this hooks on and that way this last horse isn't gonna back out while he's still tied or something, start coming out and then injure itself or injure you or something bad is to happen. In here, got our dividers with the pads. So you can see these pads right here. Um, very nice pads. They, this last stall doesn't even look like a horse had been in it. Um, it's in really good shape pad wise and everything. So really nice, but you have pads all the way down and these actually hook to the side too. And that way you can get them out of your way and you know, load your horses up without them swinging and hitting each other and hitting your horses as you're getting them in. And then this front divider is a stud stall. So you got the full length and then there's that walkthrough door into the LQ. But the stud stall, um, that's what I was kind of saying over in that other spot. Um, you're able to, you know, stack hay, put a wheelbarrow in there, stuff like that. And it's not going to be rolling back under the horse's legs. So even if you're just hauling three, you've got that full space up front to be able to use as a storage stall. And it's just convenient to have and nice to have. So then in here, you do the roof vents up above each stall. Those push forward and push back. So push them forward, get that air flow blown in and push them back, suck that air back out over the back. So you're able to keep your horses cool and everything. And then over on this hip side, we do have a couple of lights on there. Let me get those turned on real quick. Let's see here. They turn on? Perfect. Awesome. So that's what your lights look like when they're all turned on. Be easier to load and unload when you got some lights in there. It just helps out big time. And then you do have a load light up above that um, side door to get into the horse area. So coming over here to the head side of the trailer, we've got our ladder to our hay rack and then the generator, onboard generator up in the hay rack. So having that on board, you don't have to have that portable with you, helps out big time, um, just makes things a lot easier. And then the access get up and down, it's right up there. So then on this one, um, we do have mangers underneath. So you see the mangers and then our drop down windows. So these mangers, you can actually, um, I'll put that one up so you can see in this manger, 
how much storage space you have. Additional storage space, we, should, we can get you some extra bridle hooks in there, um, anything like that that you would need, be able to put some extra stuff in here. It's just really, really nice to have this extra space. So when these close up, but you do have the drop downs on all four stalls. So those come down, be able to get your extra airflow going through once again. And then they do have the capability of pulling these up just a little and popping these um, jail bars down. Being able to do that just makes it easier, in my opinion, be able to check on horses while you're driving without having to go through the back and there's someone getting out or getting hurt. Um, able to offer them more feed, offer them water, stuff like that. Being able to get these down just comes in handy big time and then how simple they are, just go up and down, just helps out big time. And then on this front stall, you do have an escape door. So escape door opens up. This is what I was talking about over on that other side. You're able to open this and use that as a storage stall. So throw your hay in there, your um, wheelbarrow, your pitchfork, use it as a mudroom, anything you really want to do. It just comes in handy being able to have this extra door and having that versatility of using it how you need to. So then that just closes up and then it's got to drop down. So over here, you just have the LQ stuff. So it's going to be your hookups and back of the fridge um, or your hot water heater and stuff like that. But this is a 2019 Elite Four Horse LQ. So anything used, we get in, no matter the age, we will go through. We check the brakes and the bearings. We'll replace and repack if needed. Uh, if we, um, what you call it, if the tires are over five years, non-worn or matching, replace all the tires on them. And then we'll go ahead and do a wheel alignment, make sure you're hauling straight, you're wearing tires how you should be. Go through all your safety features, so your coupler, your chains, your battery breakaway, your seven pin, all that, make sure it's all working how it should. All your lights, those are all working. We also put them on the Viz machine, check your brakes, make sure they're stopping and operating how they should. Um, and then living quarters wise on these, we actually send the living quarters across the street to our RV shop and they go through all your systems on the LQ. So your water, propane, um, your AC, heat, all of that. And just make sure everything is operating how it should be. So when you buy something from us, you know you're getting something that's been looked up by technicians that's ready to go and hit the road. Um, but if you have any questions on this trailer, any other trailers on our lot, almost forgot stock number on this one, sorry. <laughs> stock number is gonna be 5U. 220-141. Again, that's 5U-220-141. That's a 2019 Elite Four Horse LQ. But yeah, if you guys have questions on this trailer or any other trailers on our lot, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can call or text me at my cell phone and that's 970-218-5996. You can call my desk phone at 3451 or you can shoot me an email at morgan and that's m-o-r-g-a-n dot noll k-n-o-l-l at transwest.com i look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and i hope you have a great day